This tutorial is designed to show you how to create groups in Blackboard 9. What we'll do is we'll create a group set, we'll talk about methods of enrollment, and then we'll talk about student access. So what we want to do first is we want to go into one of our Blackboard courses, and if you don't have a tool linked right here, you need to add one for students to access groups, or you can just add a direct link to the groups area. What's kind of nice in Blackboard 9 is once students have been enrolled, they actually get a new little um, area down here that's for their groups. But you can click plus here, and you can add create course link, and what you can do is you can drop down and create a tools area, and you can just write tools here if you'd like. Or you could create directly a link to the group area. I already have one, so I'm going to click on tools, and I'm going to go down to groups, and now what I want to do is you could create a single group where and you if you had 24 students and you wanted four students per group you'd have to create six of these um, you can self enroll which means students self enroll themselves or you can put the students in but now Blackboard 9 allows you to create a group set and, and so what I'm going to do is I want manual enroll if you want students to self enroll you do self enroll or random enroll but I'm going to do manual enroll here because I want to put the students in each group and I'm going to call this um, uh, paper group and what Blackboard will do is it'll call it paper group one, two, three, depending on how many groups you set. Now you want to make sure this is available. Now there's some tools that students can use. Usually students use um, discussion board, email, file exchange, but you certainly can use all these different tools. They can use them in their group and I'm going to create six groups here. When I hit submit, what it will do is it'll bring me in an area where I can um, put the students in. Now, you'll notice that my name isn't up here, but if I want to access these groups, I too need to be listed here. And to put my name in here, I should put show all course roles. Okay, I'm going to click that off for right now and show you that you can put students into different roles here, into different groups by selecting them. And each time you put one student into a group, they disappear from the other area. Now, what you do need to do is you need to put, click show all course roles here, and then you need to click this remove members already in a group off in order for you to create, put yourself in each of these groups. So after you put all the students in, you go back and actually add yourself to each of the groups so that you can access them as well. Okay. Now after I get that done, I put all my other students in. I only have three in this course, so it doesn't make much sense. I'm going to hit submit. And then now I have all these groups that are already created. Let me show you as a student what this looks like. When a student goes in here to this training course that I have set up, you'll notice that they have access to their group right here. Okay, And they can actually go in, go to their group home page, and see which students are actually enrolled in there. Now, what some instructors like to do is they might like to create a group link in a content area. And so you can do that by going to Add Interactive Tool, go down to Groups, and you can link to a group or a group set. And I have this paper group down here. And I'm going to hit Next. And I could put some instructions like this is your group for your paper research project. And then I hit Submit. And you'll see that there's a paper group right here. And if I click on this, I'll go into the individual groups. If I'm a student and I go under assignments, I'll see this paper group here. And when I click on it, it brings me to my individual group that I've been assigned. So that's how you create groups in Blackboard 9. Um, again, there's multiple ways of having students put in. You can randomly assign them. You can assign them like I did under manual, or you can have students self-enroll. Thanks for watching this tutorial.